Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create a landing page. One of the news in SharePoint 2013 is that it only displays three views in a list in general like this. As you see, the fourth one that I have here is actually hidden beneath these three little dots there. And if you've created lots of views that you want to present in a nice way, creating a landing page is one of the solutions you can do for that. It's rather simple. So by default, when you create a new list, it ends up here in the quick launch navigation under recent, but I moved it out of there. But you can simply remove that from there and add your own page to the navigation. So that's what I'm going to show. I'm going to add a page, a regular wiki page. And of course, that's a regular empty wiki page now. And I'm just going to go ahead and open that in a new tab so I can switch between these two. Because each of these views is actually a page, as you see here. So each of them have their own URL. So if I want to link to the job titles, I can simply copy that URL. Put it in there. And just do job titles like that. And select it all. And insert a link to an address like that. That works. Another way of doing exactly the same thing, really, is to use wiki links. Uh, one difference between these two links is that this one works all over the internet. You can use the same kind of linking in an email or on another SharePoint site or wherever, basically, uh, anytime you have an address. But if you're working within one specific site, then this second method, the wiki linking, works. And I'm gonna do just two square brackets and then I'll use the down key on my keyboard and then tab to go into the menu here. And as you see, I get all the lists and document libraries within my site. So I'm gonna tab again, and here I have all my views. And tab again for all contacts, and then finish that off by two square brackets. Again, two square brackets to start, tab down, view, consultants, job titles like that. And again, actually I already have that one, that one but uh, view, there we go, consultants, uh, accountants, and the same view, consultants, box view. Those are the views that I created. And actually I don't need the second one there. So there I have all of my four views in one page. Now, if I want the uh, my users to reach this page instead of that one, uh, then I'll simply go in and edit the links, copy this landing, remove that, and just create a new link there, and add the text to display consultants. So that's a very, very simple way to create a landing page. Thank you for watching this demonstration.